over this ledge here. This is where we're going to be scared. Let's go ahead and make our way through here. And we are out of here. Oh, it's freezing. It's freezing. That was beautiful. It's not the same looking at pictures that going inside. Arizona is very cold today, so they let us borrow these blankets because I didn't bring a, a jacket or a sweater. Apparently, it's very dusty. To come to Antelope Canyon, you can't just go on your own, you have to book a tour. And there's a lot of companies that do it. Um, you can't bring a selfie stick, you cannot bring what else? A backpack. Um, there's a lot of different packages though. the nose and the neck so we don't have any antelopes anymore so let me have four people come on up here one over there right here right in the shaded area you're just going to point your camera up sideways and you're going to get this photo right up here okay now go forward okay next per come on up you get so sandy it's incredible, it's crazy. My hair, but it's so worth it. I got free highlights, look. I got highlights. Holy shit. Water leaks 
evidence is right there. Right up here. See this one? She's right there. 2013, five feet from the top. So we came up. See how close we are to the top? We keep walking up, so now we're going to go back down. Yeah, now you yeah. see some dents here in the walls right here, okay? You see some writing on the walls on the, on the left hand side of here. So this is all happening before 1997. So that's why today we do the guided tours, so that we can keep an eye on the canyon and also to maintain the trout. Okay. So you guys are going to be so thankful for this tour. Because on the way back, the other tour comes in right here. So, so, yeah, <laughs> so that's on the way back, I'm going to say no to yeah. yeah. Well, we can take a video while we're walking. Yeah, you can do the video. Yeah. So, any questions? Everybody good? We just left um, the tour. It was beautiful. You get all full of sand. As you can see, you're just smothered in sand. There's different tours. The one that we took was $130 for both. There's some um, tours for photographers. And that one is more expensive. My lips are burning. Wait, hold on. Thank you. So anyways, it's not the same when you look at picture than to be in Antelope Canyon. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, now we're heading to Horseshoe Bend. We have been to Horseshoe Bend before. But Continue on US 89 for two miles. Okay, two miles. So, so I guess now to go to Horseshoe Bend, before you could just go and park. So now you gotta go a mile down, you gotta park here, this open parking spot, and then you take this shuttle.
trying to walk fast. just so windy so anyways so now to come over here before you didn't have to pay anything and now it's uh, five dollars per person and you have to take the shuttle and park one mile from Horseshoe Bend and there's signs all over so you'll know so let me show you guys These three guys over there, so they were very close to the edge. What happens is that. All right, so we just got back from Horseshoe Bend. It was very, very windy. I couldn't film because it was too windy, so I thought uh, you were not gonna be able to hear my voice. But anyways, what I wanted to say about those two guys or three guys that were on that rock that's how they just try to get close and close just for uh, closer and closer to the edge just for a picture and that's where tragedy happens in the news this week it came out that in the past eight days three people have fallen from the grand canyon for you to fall from the grand canyon you really gotta be a jackass because i mean if you get closer and closer and it's very windy you're just gonna fall you know anyways um we're heading home now we're gonna have something to eat and it was a good day the tour again if you want to go to antelope canyon you have to book a tour okay you have to book a tour you cannot just go on your own they're they're a little pricey but it's worth it we took the tour the eight in the morning tour so we did not stay in a hotel here. So what we did is we drove up from Phoenix at two in the morning. So we were a little tired because from Phoenix where we live, it's a four and a half hour drive. So we're heading back home now, uh, but it was a good day. It's a two perfect, you can kill two birds with one stone, Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend. But it was fun. Just if you go, wear your glasses because if not it's gonna be your eyes are gonna be very gritty very sandy and then you know my you know, look at all the sand like it's just pouring sand non-stop and then your shirt bring another change of clothes if you want um, shoes and socks a lot of people had like a handkerchief something covering their nose mouth so that's a good idea hats those hats are just they cover all this like that. I don't know how they're called, but you gotta come prepared. But anyways, we're gonna get something to eat and head back to Phoenix to get our dogs. We left our dogs in the boarding facility where we always leave them. 
and that's it see you guys later